Okay, so we're here to look at the Sonoff S26 R2 today and how to flash it. So here is uh, an S26. As you can see, it's just a smart plug. It's got a relay inside and we can use the button or activate it through the app. Now I would say the Sonoff app and environment is pretty good, um, but I use ESP Home on my Home Assistant platform and it's much easier for me to manage that way. So I prefer to flash these with ESP Home. They do miss out on having energy monitoring, which is a drawback, but hey, for 15 bucks, who could complain? Um, they're pretty easy to pull apart. So here's one we did earlier. Um, basically, you've got three screws on the back. And then this all comes out and you get access to the board, simple. Now on the original model, and there are some videos on YouTube showing how to flash these, um, it looked a bit different. They've switched it up with the R2. Um, you do get the, the relay there still, which you do get a 16 amp relay on this one. And the biggest change is they've uh, moved to an ESP8285, which is this little chip here. Anyway, that's a nice little integrated package, but it's gonna make flashing a problem normally because of um, the way it connects through that little edge connector makes it real difficult to get any soldering wires on. Um, you can't use Sonoff DIY mode on these ones for whatever reason, their firmware doesn't support it. Um, you can't use to convert, obviously, um, that's been out of action for years now. So what I have found is that you can use these pads on the back and do the flashing that way. So if you can see, you've got the different pads at the bottom left there of the board. V is three volts, uh, TX and RX transmit and receive and ground pin there. <clears throat> as well as a little pad for IO2. So what I've been using is these um, helping hands to hold up the little board. Um, there's a good spot right there where nothing is really connected while we're in test mode. I've clipped on a ground wire actually to that pin over there. That was much easier to grab onto than that little ground pad that's in the middle. Uh, and then just for test purposes, I've connected to 3.3 volts um, and you'll see the uh, little status light should be flashing away there, and it is, okay? So to do the actual flashing though, this is just in regular mode. To go into flashing mode, you're gonna have to hold that button down while you plug it in, uh, and then the light will not flash. But then what you do is you clip on your receive and transmit cables um, around here. So, so the RX and TX, I'm gonna put these things on there, and that's how I do the flashing. Right. So that's now in flashing mode. I held the button down. I've clipped on my receive and transmit wires. Now for those who are not used to it, you'll find on your flasher, it has RX and TX, and you want to swap them over on the way over. So the RX on the smart plug connects to the TX on the flasher and vice versa. So the TX on the flasher, the RX there, RX there, TX there. Got it? Great. Let's try it out. So those of you who've seen any of my other videos know I like this ESP Home Flasher thing. It's real easy. There are plenty of other options. The most popular is probably ESP Tool Python script. Um, either way, it should work just like this. And that was it. Done. Let's bring it up. So my test bring up is just to unclip those RX TX wires and unplug the USB connector from the machine and plug it back in. That just is enough to give me 3.3 volts into that chip and it will connect to Wi-Fi. And look at that, the pool heater thing uh, is showing as available and online. We'll have a look at the logs. Done. Here's the finished product. Now I would say these Sonos are a bit of a pain in Australia because they're kind of upside down the way they plug in. So it hides the power switch. Not ideal. Um, anyway, it works. Um, as you can see, the button has stopped flashing, which means it's connected to Wi-Fi. If I click, you can hear the relay going. And if I go over to Home Assistant and toggle it, oh, that's me doing it through Home Assistant. So uh, easy peasy.